Good. Get it. Oh, drop one. Get it. Abyss. Yes. Get it. Did you find it? Go find it. Go find it. Go on, go find it. Abyss. Yes. Kibbs everywhere. That's what happens when your hands get slimy and the kibble are small. Right there. There you go. There's one over here. Good. Get it. Good. Good. That's it. Good. Down. Good. Good boy. Get it. No, go find it. So for something like that, I don't look directly at him, so no eye contact. Don't give him treats, so don't talk to him. I want him to go find the treats that I threw, because I, I know that he didn't get it. Did you find something? <laughs> okay, go get it. Yes. And if we get to the point where he doesn't want to chase the treats anymore, which may very well happen, get it. Abyss. Yes. Uh, we're going to do more active things. Good. Heel. Like this. Good. Oh, dropped one. Heel. Good. Heel. Good. Okay, little break. Get it. Oh, found that one. That. He'll go look for them now. I like that a lot. Good. Heel. Good. Mm -hmm. Get it. Get it. Right there. Try not to fall over. Yep. Good. Heel. Good. 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 And the difference here is moving the treat further away is I'm not fully luring now. Get it. All right, full lure is like nose to the treat type. This, by pulling my hand away a little bit, heel. Good. And letting him kind of figure out good how to do what I'm asking. Right. Instead of just putting him into position by himself. Good boy. Good. Sit. Good. Get it. Whoa. Wait for it. Thinking, using his nose. Good boy. Get it. Abyss. Yes. Good. Good. Yep. Also, You can tell him good. if heel just means be near me, good, heel, or if it's specific to a side. Dogs are really good at learning how specific you want them to be, good. So far, I've had heel just mean I want you next to me on one side or the other, but it's really easy to tell him that, say, heel left or heel right, or heel always means one side and another word always means the other. So my dogs, good. Heel is always left. And if I want them on my right, I say right. Yeah, boy. Do a lot of this too. Yes. Where I grab his little harness. Yes. Good. 
Should we take it off? Yeah, we're gonna work on that too. Taking his harness off, he's getting a little, okay. Come over here so we can see. He's getting a little antsy about it because he doesn't like the sensation. Good boy. Grab, yes. Here, see how he gets a little uncomfortable because it gets stuck on his ears. Okay, go ahead. Oh, yes, good boy. Good. Yeah, our usual stuff. Touch. Yes. Good. Touch. Yes. Left hand's a little bit harder. Touch. Yes, good boy. Same thing as last time. Yes. Yes. Got his chest. Yes. Chin. Yes. Good boy. Get it. That wasn't technically proper. Should be good. Good. Chin. Good boy. Get it. Spin. So now we can start teaching the fancier stuff. Good. Good. Get it. Because he's used to pushing into the hand. Good. Back up. Keep it up. Good. That's a little bit more difficult. Good. So teach him to, to push into my hand when I'm pushing on him. Good. So it kind of like ducks. If you have the, the treat right below their chin, it makes it easier because it keeps them from sitting. Treat up and back means sit. Treat down and back. Good. Can you back up? Get it. But that's going to take a little bit more time. Spin. Good boy. Spin. Good. Get it. Take a break. For things like spins, I won't do very many because, not, I won't do very many in a row because I don't want to get dizzy. <laughs> um, so we'll do a little break in between. Spin. Good. Sit. Good. Down. Good. Oh, there you go. Saved it. Good. Sit. Ah, good. Get it. Touch. Yes. Good boy. Sit. Yes. Good. Get it. Next thing. Now he's done. So he's looking for a kibble. Let him go find those. And now, he's probably gonna say that he's done. Hi. Like, oh. That. Are you done? Yeah, okay, we get you some cues. And this is really the, at the 40 to the 15 minute mark. Alice, yes. He puts himself away. <laughs> Good, yeah, you're a good boy. Get it. Okay, get up. All done. Happy puppy. That's it. There, and I know you've been doing a good job with crate training because he's quiet once I start talking. 